Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's episode, we are going to Manchester for England versus North Macedonia in the Euro qualifiers. Head down to the Bishop Blaze, but it was a bit too busy and I spotted this England flag, which as a Birmingham fan, got a bit mischievous. Keep it right on. Soon enough, I'll get on match day programme and head down to the ground. Once inside the stadium, I get a quick drink and then head up to my seat and what a stadium Old Trafford is. First time coming out, it's brilliant. The players and the referees are on the pitch and the North Macedonia fans actually brought quite a good following down with them, fair play. I was sat right next to the England band and I were really getting the atmosphere going here. And surprisingly, straight from kickoff, Macedonia trying to get in the box here, but Harry Maguire was there to sort it out and unfortunately it's the only chance he actually had in the game. Also, when I bought these seats, I didn't realise, one, the leg room, but also I'd actually be getting a padded seat. I felt very fancy. As you can hear, the home fans are in fine voice and Rashford was absolutely tearing apart Macedonia down on this left-hand side. And after a barrage of attacks, England finally get the goal. This is what I meant. Rashford absolutely on fire. A great pass. Remember kids, stay clever. And going 1 0 up, England just seemed to ooze more confidence, playing with the ball around, not rushing attacks, getting good crosses in here again, quite unlucky not to score here. And when North Macedonia actually got the ball, which was very rare in the first place, they didn't seem to keep it too well. In the end, players from England rush them or they misplaced a pass. And soon enough, England made it 2 0. Great play down the right wing here. I know he's ex Villa, but you know, I can't help but not like Jack Grealish recently with his antics. Uh, I've also got a lot of respect for Pickford. I mean, it must be proper boring being goal in games like this. And unlike previous matches where we sit back when we're in front, England continue to go up the gears and try and attack. A good save or a bad shot, I'm not too sure, but hang on. Is that Harry Maguire up in the box? What are you doing here? It doesn't matter anyway, and for Rashford, he finally gets his goal soon enough. Yeah. At half time, England 3 0 up. Very, very comfortable match. Macedonia been dominated. Second half underway, and Macedonia trying to keep the ball. They only had 33% possession, but forget about that. Because in the 47th minute, you just need to watch this goal. It is one of the best goals I've ever seen in person. Saka, take it away. I managed to see Saka getting that left peg ready and what a hit. Unreal goal, absolute thunder of a volley to the top left corner. Proper disgusting goal. Disgusting! And if Mastoni wasn't being battered enough already, four minutes later, he's done it again.
the England fans are loving this match, whereas Macedonia fans, some started to actually leave a bit early here, which you can't really blame them for. They've been battered. Saka comes off, and for me, it was man of the match. If you're enjoying this video at the moment, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Jack Greenish comes on and also the floodlights come on, which, as if this stadium could be brilliant enough as it is, looks even better with the floodlights on. Them two quick goals at the half-time put the game into a natural lull and then my brother said this. I want it to be 6 now. Which is mad because suddenly... A few moments later... At 6-0, England didn't stop, you know, it was already dead, this game, but they just kept going forward, even running back, playing the ball back, just keeping that ball and not trying to force a goal, just, you know, letting it naturally happen, which is brilliant to watch. Soon, England get a corner and this happens, see if you can spot it. During the match, I didn't actually see anything here other than the referee staring at Stones on the floor. Um, but I believe the player behind him has tried to run into space and actually took Stones out in the build-up play, which has given away quite a silly penalty here for Macedonia, considering a 6-0 down already. Strong penalty as always from Harry Kane, but as the game's continuing, I start to notice this around the ground. Can someone just explain to me what this is? You know, I've seen it at other matches in the past. You know, it's like a cold play concert or something. If you know what it is, let me know down in the comments. I have no idea what it is. I don't understand it at all. It looks pretty though, but I just don't get it. And soon enough, it was full time. Absolute demolition job by England against North Macedonia. One step closer to the Euros next year. And with that, let's look at the positives for this match. Starting off with the actual stadium itself, Old Trafford. Brilliant stadium. I love it when England play at other grounds. The crowd was unreal, you know. The ground itself is steeped in history. And the atmosphere was brilliant. Um, the band was amazing as always. I came out feeling like this lad. Crazy. I've never actually experienced that sort of atmosphere a game before. It's absolutely electric. And don't get me wrong, I know Wembley's historic, um, but for England games, it's a bit lifeless at times, you know, not many chance. The only thing you get going is a Mexican wave now and again. I think, you know, for big matches, keep it at Wembley, but for games like this, they need to do it more often. Play at Newcastle, you know, Old Trafford, any ground, just to make it a bit better. Another big positive was the actual starting lineup for me personally. I think this is our strongest lineup. My only thing I would change is probably Henderson for Jude Bellingham. He's a great player, but I think Jude's much better. Which, by the way, I met Jude Bellingham in my last video. So if you want to see how that went for me, go and check it out. Link in the description. Sticking to the topic of England's lineup, I thought that Trent in the midfield was really interesting. I didn't think it would work, but you know, he had some great passes. He can hit a shot. And it makes me ask the question is this England's best 11? What do you think? Let me down in the comment below. Do you agree? What would you change if you don't agree? Now, leading on to some negatives. And the main thing, there's two main things for me. Firstly, these bloody trumpets or horns, you know. I loved them in 2010, but just listen to these videos. As I said, I loved them, but after hearing it constantly, you just start to not like it, and I just don't get why they're loud. So bloody loud. And my second negative was the traffic after. I was stuck in traffic for an hour after the match. Didn't leave Manchester for an hour. But overall, I would still give this game and this match experience a 5 out of 5. It was brilliant. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have, please make sure you give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I want to take the opportunity to thank everyone who's checked out the Jude Bellingham video. 
I can't yeah. believe we're over 500 views already. I really appreciate it. Thank you once again. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.